Hey guys, it's been a little bit since I've given you an update, so I wanted to take a moment to do so. Um, I have actually spent the last couple of weeks uh, doing some permit installations for my uh, two AC300s in split phase mode. Uh, I have my grid power permanently put in. I have the inlet up there. Uh, it, the wire's still a little bit hanging, but you know I'll deal with that later. The one piece I still have to do is the uh, fusion box down here. I need to get it properly mounted, but I'll get that done here soon. Um, you may be able to hear some uh, blowing noise in the background. I'm not sure if it's picked up on the camera. That's my uh, uh, furnace blower for my air conditioner. Um, and it's actually, um, I guess, Matthew from the Blue, uh, Blue Eddy uh, forums and uh, Facebook group calls it an air handler, which is probably a better way to describe it. Uh, that's actually running off these right now. So um, just to give you an idea, about 50% of my house is actually currently running off these two. So if I look right now at the master, I'm running about 500 watts, and the slate is doing about 13, well, let's say 1300 watts, which should drop right now because my air handler just went off. So I have a pretty even load, 500 without that, and about 500. And I'll talk about that as well too, about how to balance your loads as best as possible so that you can make sure that you're not gonna overwhelm these two. Um, in the last couple of weeks, these two units have been running, like I said, my 50% of my house, um, let's say for about the last week and a half. I did take some downtime with them and returned everything back to the grid because I did identify uh, an issue, uh, contacted Blue Eddy support, um, worked with their engineers, worked with their research and development teams to provide them the information and use cases on what I was seeing. They were very quick. They provided me a unreleased, uh, let's say a, a, a firmware, an early release version of it that resolved that problem. So I've been testing that. I've had no real issues with these um, two machines. Um, the only reason why I did take them offline is I did have some concerns, and some of you guys saw that on how why am I getting a bonded neutral here? I shouldn't, but this is actually something from my power company. I was very surprised to find that, but we don't actually have a bonded neutral here. So this is actually something internal to my neighborhood or the transformer that I'm on. So uh, one of the other things I'll be talking about on the next video is, oops, excuse me, I almost tripped, uh, transfer switches. Um, what type to use? when to use them, which ones you should be avoiding, and if you're currently using the ones that shouldn't be used, what things you should not be doing with your two AC300s, because if you use the wrong transfer switch and you wind up using these two uh, devices in the wrong manner, you're gonna fry one. And it's only gonna be one, and there's a specific reason why it's only one. Uh, and I'll try to describe all that information later. But in the meantime, between the time that I make that video, let me just say, Generax Homelink brand, Reliance's X-Series, which I do have a, a box of theirs up there, but that's a, a source switch. Um, I'll describe that in a second. And then Blue Eddy's um, Smart um, Home Panel or Sub Panel. Those are the three that really should be used. If you have the Reliance uh, ProTran, uh, any version, um, I think it's the, the original or the, or the number two uh, version, not 100% compatible. And you do risk some potential issues depending, once again, how you use these two. So be very careful with that. Um, this Reliance source switch up here, um, this is my, gen I'm sorry, my solar generators, and this is my gas generator. So really, I can switch back and forth without unplugging anything, rewiring anything, and then it just feeds down to this uh, transfer switch. I just didn't want to unplug things. I ideally wanted to keep it as is. Um, but that's about it for right now. Um, like I said, everything's been going pretty well. If you guys have questions in the interim between now and I get the next video, uh, just post a comment below um, so that I can go ahead and hopefully answer your question or answer it in the next video. But uh, hopefully I'll get that going and get that done for you guys here shortly.